Thank you, Nusrat, for this nice introduction. And uh, what can I say about myself? Already you have talked about me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm really honored uh, to be a partner of SuperMath. And uh, today I am feeling honored also as a giving lecture about SuperMath. Let's come to the point. Today we are going to learn something about uh, attribute table field based expression. And beside of this, we will learn also some uh, little tips of attribute tables by using smart field of SuperMath. And beside of this, we will learn uh, something like uh, expression writing tips, how we can start any programming language. So I hope all of you are already enjoying and playing with GIS in the field of SuperMath. And today I will try my best to make you more enjoy this lecture. Let's come to the point and start our lecture. Uh, can you see my screen? Um, not yet. You have to do the screen share option on. Yeah. Yes, we can see the screen now. You can see my screen now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can see. First of all, with this lecture, you have a resource file in where you will get this folder named attribute plus geometric in where you have two types of shape file. We are going to use these shape files. One is polygon feature shape file and another one is polyline feature shape file. So in today's lecture, we are going to use these two shape files. Let's open our smart interface of SuperMap IDEX top 10 i Here we go. First of all, let's make this shape file usable by unzip this folder. First of all, before we start, we need to add those shape file inside SuperMap interface. And I hope all of you already know how to add shape file, uh, but don't worry, I'm going to show you shortly. To add any shape file inside SuperMap interface, first of all, we need to create a file data source inside the workspace manager. In here, data source, we need to right click on it, then create a new file data source in where we are going to add our shape file as a new data set. We need to create a new file data source and save it in a particular folder. Say I'm going to use this folder to save my this file data source as a shape file. Okay. Inside of this file data source, we are going to add our those shape files as a new data set. By right click on it, by using this pop up menu, we are going to click import data set. And we are going to add those shape file as a data sets. The main power of SuperMap is we can add uh, multiple data sets at a time from different types of folders. Uh, from my previous experience with another software, I, I have seen that we can add multiple shape files, but from one folder. But by using SuperMap, we can add multiple shape files for, from different types of folders. Say in here, my polygon feature shape file has been saved inside this US state. So I can open this from here and also, it will take a few seconds, don't worry about it. Now let's add again that polyline feature, which name is South Dakota. So we have added two shape files from different folders. This thing I love, like most from SuperMap and another more things I like most, I I'm going to tell you about it. So all we need to do is just click import, simply. Our shape files from different folders has been added successfully instantly. So now as we are going to learn something about attribute table-based analysis, in that case, we are going to use some kind of expression and we are going to learn also the magical tips to start any programming expression. It is, uh, it seems like 
uh, a translation. I'm going to tell you about this. But first of all, definitely, we need to add this shape file in our map window. Without this, how we can do our analysis? Let's add this by right click on it and click add to new map. And add this South Dakota to this current map window by using this add to current map. Now, as today's lecture is based on attribute table based analysis, so we need to open attribute table. Here, I'm going to give you a tips from where we need to open our attribute table in Supermap. Which one will be best for us? We can open attribute table in two ways. One is by using workspace manager from this layer. And another way is we can open attribute table from this layer inside of this layer manager. But I'm suggesting you to open attribute table from here inside of layer manager. Why? Let's see. If I open my attribute table from here, layer manager, by right click on it and click browse associated table. I'm opening the attribute table of USA state shape file, which contain the state features of USA state. See, in here, attribute table, if I click any row, which means a particular features database. If I click in this Hawaii, in map window, it is selected. It has been selected this Hawaii feature. If I select this one, Washington, see instantly, we have got Washington in our map window. If I select this one, Montana, we can see the Montana state in our map window instantly by clicking these attributes. We have opened this attribute table from this layer manager layer list. Now let's see what will be happen if we do the same from this workspace manager. Let's deselect. Close this attribute table. Now open this from this workspace manager. See, in here, if I select this Hawaii, in map window, we can see the Hawaii as a selected feature. If I select this one, so by using this attribute table from workspace manager, we can't select the feature by clicking the attribute table. And there are many more potentialities we will get if we open our attribute table from this layer manager layer list. So this is a simple tips. Now let's do our task field calculation. Say, as a GIS specialist, you have got the shape file of USA state in where you have the states of USA with these attributes. In this attribute table, we have state name and population database of 2000 and also population database 2010. Not only that, we have many data of state wise like uh, white based population, black, total males population and females population. Here is the males population and females population of each state. Age wise population. So as a GIS specialist, you are responsible to count the total number of male and female population in each state. So the basic thing is you need to create a field in where you need to uh, analyze the total number of males and females population in each state. In here, we have males population and females population separately. You need to uh, make the summation of males and females population in a new field. How we can do this? We can do this very easily by using field calculation expression. This is a simple expression. Let's see how to do it.
first of all, definitely we need to create a field in where we are going to add our result of total number of males and females population. So how we can create a new field in Supermap? Very easy. Just click on this attribute table. In attribute table window, we need to click attribute structure to get the attribute table properties. In here, in here we can see the properties of each field. Say the alias, the type of data, the length, and many more. In here, we are going to add a new field by click this one, add field. See, a new field has been added, but why we are getting the same name like SQMI, SQMI underscore one, because when you are going to add a new field, it's super map, it will create a new name by default by using the previously created field. Say the last field of this attribute table was, which has been created previously is SQMI. Based on this, the new field name has been created with SQMI underscore one. We can change the name of this field as MF and the field alias as male, female. And the data type will be integer. Now, what is the differences between this name and alias? This name is defined as the field property name and the alias is Sorry. And the alias is known as the caption inside of the attribute table. Say, after creating this field, we can see this name inside of this attribute table, male and female. But the main property name of this field is MF, which are going to use in any expression or any properties option settings. So we can consider this as a caption inside of attribute table, which means alias, and the name of this field is known as the property name. So this one is property name, and this one is as a caption inside the attribute table. Hope you understand the differences between name and alias. Now, all we need to do is just simply click apply. See, our new field has been added successfully. And here we can see the alias, not the field name, which is property name. Now our main function is to add the values, the summation of male and female population. For this purpose, we need to select this field. Now go to attribute table tab. In here, we need to click update field. We can open this update field in another way as a shortcut, just right click on this attribute table field, then click from this pop-up menu, update field. In here, we need to select our this field from this update field list. See, in this list, we can see the MF instead of male, female, because MF is the main name of this field, which is property name. Okay, now we need to check whole field, and operation method will be assigned to all. Now we need to give the expression code by clicking here, expression. In here, we need to do some kind of simple magic. First of all, delete this by default zero. Now in here, we need to write our expression. But before that, I want to give you another tips to start any kind of programming language or expression. Let's open a notepad, for example. See, before you start any programming language script writing, first of all, you need to do some kind of translation. Uh, like uh, uh, when you are going to any other country script, uh, you need to convert your language for your conversation, say from English to China or China to Bengali. It's such kind of this, say, 
before start writing any script first of all you need to think about your plan say just think what are you going to do it is called thinking language in thinking language you are thinking what you are going to do exactly just simply think and plan about this then convert your this thinking language as programming language okay first of all before start any programming you need to plan what you are going to do what you want to do exactly then uh, organize this step by step then convert your this thinking language as a programming language step by step in here although this is a simple expression of calculation but it will help you in your future long script writing in another programming also say python or php whatever you are going to do just use this step this translation step so your programming will be effective in here we are what is our thinking language we need the summation of male and female field okay so in here if we convert our this thinking language although this is a simple expression but these tips will help you in long script writing process in here our programming language will be male plus female so this will be our expression so we are going to write this expression to count the total number of male and female population by using those two fields we need to write this script inside here and uh, by the power of supermap nice interface we don't need to write this actually we can do this by single click in here we have the field name list and field alias also all we need to do is first of all we need to write males plus females so in here if we want to write this just double click on males it will be added here instantly then we need to write plus from this operator then again double click on females to add this inside this expression it is very easy so in here we don't need to write something just we have to click in here now click okay now just click apply see the magic in here we have added successfully the total number of males and females population is not it very interesting now as a gis specialist you are responsible all also uh, to count the increasing number of population from two years from population of 2000 the year 2000 and the year of 2010 let's see we already have this data inside of this attribute table we have data of population 2000 and also population 2010 so what we need to do in that case we can do this very easily let me do the process quickly again if we add a new field see in here the new field name has been added with the name of mf underscore one as i already have said the new field name will be created based on the last field name of this attribute table which has been created previously because of this the field name is now mf underscore one just change the name as pop then there is population integer four now click apply right click on it click update field click expression in here what will be our programming language in here our thinking language is subtract the data of population 2000 from population 2010 database so our programming language will be pop 2010 minus pop 2000 
So in this way, we are we are converting our thinking language as a programming language. Let's do the same again. Of 2010 minus of 2000. Then click apply. Here we have the increasing number of population in these 10 years. So this is field calculator. Now we are going to learn another magic. Say. You want to count the area of each state. How we can do this? You want to calculate the center point of each feature and uh, the latitude longitude value also. Say I want to uh, identify the latitude longitude of the center point of Washington or New York or uh, Montana. I want to count the total number of vertex of each feature. Can we do this? This is known as geometric analysis. Count the total area, count the latitude, longitude of center point, count the perimeter, count the uh, vertices, <coughs> sorry, count the vertices. These are known as geometric analysis. Can we do this geometric analysis by using supermap interface? Yes, by using smart interface of supermap, we can do this very easily by using some click. See, in our field calculator, we have to create a new field before doing our analysis. But in geometric analysis, it will create automatically a new field at your analysis time. Say, so first of all, I want to calculate the area of each state. For this geometric analysis purpose, we need to go attribute table, then click add geometry attribute. In here, we can see the select mode. Here we can choose two types of mode. One is calculate geometric attribute or update geometric attribute. We are going to see both of these. Let's calculate geometric attribute. We are going to calculate the geodesic area with unit of meter square. If we click OK, it will create it a new field with the result. See, there is the total area. Now let's see if we use update geometric attribute. And if we select the field of pop, which is population, see on this population field, in here, we are going to add geodesic area. Now click now let's see calculate geometry. I want to add the centroid coordinates, which means the center point of each feature and its latitude longitude value. For this purpose, we need to use this one, centroid coordinates, then click OK. It will add two fields with latitude value and longitude value. It's not it very interesting. So in here, we can see the geometric properties, which we can use for our this geometric based analysis. Say for this polygon feature, we have this type of geometric properties. One is center coordinates for polygon, we have a center point and for polygon pitch for polygon we can count the total area and in polygon we can count the geodesic perimeter we can count the total vertex let's count the total vertex so in here we can see In this Hawaii state, we have total 118 vertex. And in this Washington, we have total number of 276 vertex. 
do you know what is vertex is vertex means when you are digitize any map uh, you are clicking to draw the map feature per click you are creating a vertex point this is known as vertex and the multiple number of vertex is known as vertices in the language of gis now let's see another type of feature as we already know in gis there are three types of feature point line and polygon point feature is one dimensional feature and polyline feature polygon feature both of these are two dimensional feature in polygon feature as we have seen the geometric properties we have the area we have the centroid point we have the perimeter we have the number of vertex so in the case of polyline what we have inside of these geometric properties in polyline feature we can count the length we can count the starting point of this uh, polyline feature we can count the end point of drawing of any feature we can count the center point of its feature in polyline and what will be for the point feature in point feature we don't have any area we don't have any center point we don't have any length and uh, because point feature is one dimensional so in that case we have only latitude longitude value properties nothing else so let's see in polyline feature in here which is south dakota open the attribute table Sorry, we need to open the attribute table from this layer manager. Let's see the attribute table geometric properties. We are going to add the geometric attribute for this South Dakota road. Here is our South Dakota road feature. In this attribute table, we have the road type. Now we will add a new field with a new geometric values. Let's see the geometric properties what i have said was it right or wrong let's see see in here we don't have any total area option we can add the center coordinate we can add the geodesic perimeter we can add the start point midpoint in point because uh, these are the properties of any line feature area is not a property of line feature either for point feature area is a property only for polygon feature we can count the vertex but for point feature we can't count the vertex because in that case the vertex is one only for point feature we can use the word vertex but for polygon and polyline feature we can use polygon and polyline feature we don't use vertex because this is the combination of multiple vertex which means vertices so point feature, we have vertex and polyline and polygon feature, we have vertices. Let's count the number of vertex of each polyline feature. Now click OK. See? It has been selected, this polyline feature, the number of vertex is 12. If we add another one, start point, latitude, longitude value, in that case, it will add two new fields, longitude value and latitude value. So you can play with this by using these nice tools and option in your shape file. I think time is too short. I have to finish the lecture. So after completing this lecture, you need to do this practically because uh, to my all of learners, 
hope many of you already enjoying my super map course in udemy which is world first and one and only super map course in udemy which has been created by sharia gis school where i have uh, explained all of this in detail but uh, before ending this lecture i want to give uh, many many thanks to super map teams and uh, for my learners i want to give you uh, the guideline how to increase your experience in gis first of all you need to learn all kind of gis uh, software with basic knowledge and uh, after that this will be your level 1 knowledge i am not talking about my course level uh, i am talking about your knowledge level to increase your knowledge level from 0 to level 1 first of all you need to learn all types of GIS software, GIS platform, which are desktop GIS. So in my courses, I already have talked what is desktop GIS, what is web GIS. Desktop GIS in, means in where we can do our GIS analysis by using our desktop application GIS softwares. And the web GIS is when we are going to share our this desktop GIS analysis output with publicly or other user, in that case, we have to use web GIS. These are the differences between desktop GIS and web GIS. When you are going to increase your knowledge from level zero to level one, first of all, you need to learn all types of GIS software with basic knowledge. After that, when you want to increase your knowledge level from level one to level two, uh, in level one, you have learned all of those GIS software. Choose minimum two GIS software to make yourself more advanced by using those two software. You can include super map software and always think about the new technologies which will be upcoming uh, future say you need to forecast yourself in your subject maybe you are from geography you are from urban planning you are from civil engineering uh, all of you maximum of you already know what is forecasting you need to forecast the future market future job market which subject which software is going to capture the job market based on these analysis you need to choose a particular two software. I prefer the new technologies. So new technologies are hold, will hold the market of job market. So by using this criteria, choose two software and make yourself more advanced on this two GIS software. Then after that, when you are going to increase your knowledge from level two, level three, you need to learn the WebGIS basic knowledge. You need to learn all types of WebGIS platforms with basic knowledge. After uh, learning all of those basic knowledge of WebGIS, when you are going to increase your knowledge from level three to level four, choose any two types of WebGIS platforms and make yourself advanced by using those two WebGIS platforms. So uh, run by using these steps in your GIS career, then you will win. After completing this lecture, you have to attend a quiz test, which is very easy. I hope all of you can do this uh, very well. And uh, don't watch only the lecture. Also play with this in the field of super map. Thank you all. Myself Sharia from Bangladesh. And I am enjoying this workshop. And uh, many, many thanks to super map team to organize this wonderful workshop. And I am feeling honored uh, to giving lecture is the in this wonderful fourth international workshop on GIS technology and application organized by Supermap. Thank you all.